All right, I cut out my templates for my flying wing uh, that I'm going to make. Actually, I'm going to start with a smaller wing, uh, you know, the size of a combat wing, uh, for the first trial. And then uh, I'm going to make a lot, much larger FPV type wing uh, if the first uh, wing turns out well. I've picked an airfoil uh, I found online, uh, kind of researched it a little bit, uh, what people have been building wings over the years and stuff, and came up with uh, this shape here actually. Right there, if you can see it. So then I blew this up to some different dimensions that I wanted. Um, this will be for the bigger FPV uh, route of the wing and this will be the the tip and then I thought instead of building the big one first I'll just build a smaller one uh, so I'll use this as a the tip and this will be the root probably around uh, I don't know 34 36 inch wingspan something like that um, just a casual kind of a little fun fly wing. Uh, and just to show you, I've been cutting out foam wings for years now. I've got a wire bow that homemade that I made and a power supply and stuff. And I used to always cut them out of, this is actually door skin material, you know, from a just a regular house door. So I think it might be mahogany, I'm not sure. But I cut it out and then stick it to the edge of the styrofoam and use this as a guide for my wire bow. And I had some sheet aluminum. It's really thin gauge stuff uh, kicking around that I got for nothing. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna try using that as my airfoil guide. So as you can see, it's super thin, but I think it'll be just fine. So I cut it out and cleaned up the edges so there's no burrs, it's nice and smooth because you want the wire to run across it without catching. And the part I like most about it is I actually, uh, this one I usually use my scroll saw or a band saw or something to cut it out. And this, these uh, tin snips work just great. It took me like, oh, I don't know, a tenth of the time it would to, to cut out these wooden ones. So all I have to do is punch some pinholes in so I can pin the template to the side of the styrofoam. Um, I don't know if I'll uh, videotape the actual cutting of the styrofoam, but once I get to that point, I'll probably uh, maybe make a before and after shot or something like that. But I just wanted to update you that I am uh, found some airfoils, and I think I'm going to go for it now. Okay, that's it.